Alright, so we'll avoid Lefty and the Rice Lord for the time being. Um, Homer's Quest we'll also have to take care of later. Uh, lurkers are a uh, type of lizard who are a little bit too tough for us at the moment. So what we can do now... We did get told by Mordrag that if we give this ring here, which is also a pretty nice ring if you want to uh, do some dexterity skills such as bows, uh, if we give it to Laris, we can uh, have a word with him. Now where are you going? Where can I go? To Laris. Okay. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Then why did you tell me to go to there? Me. I won't stop you. That was a very awkward exchange. Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here, but you need a good reason to disturb him. Oh, yeah? Mordrag sent me. Mordrag hasn't been seen here for some time. He's probably changed over to the old camp. I came here with him. Mordrag's back? If you meet him, Tell him Lares wants to see him. Mordrag gave me something for Laris. What is it? A ring. Certainly a precious piece. Okay. You can see him. Alright, good. Let's let ourselves in. Now, for some reason, targeting Laris is pretty annoying with this bottle of wine in front of him. So be very careful that you don't actually pocket it by mistake. Shouldn't smoke indoors, bruh. Very dangerous. I want to join your gang. Oh yeah? What have you got to show for yourself then? Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him. And tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. Will do. Now, I just want to point something out. First of all, Laris has a pretty severe lazy eye, if you look really closely. His eyes aren't centered at all. It's kind of funny. One of his... Uh, more defining characteristics in these two games. Uh, he's kind of one of the characters that disappoints me the most, though. Um, because I played Gothic 2 first, I became more familiar with his presentation in that game. He has a different voice actor, and with his new voice actors, um, his uh, personality changed significantly. In this one, especially with his voice, he sounds... Like a really brutish thug, basically. He just seems like an asshole. And in in uh, Gothic 2, he's much more soft-spoken and like much more reserved. And he just he seems very patronly by comparison. And this one, he just he seems like a gang leader, basically. Like someone who doesn't like most people will beat the shit out of you if he feels like it. But if you know, if you kiss his ass, he'll treat you like a brother, basically. And in Gothic 3, for some reason, they made him into, like, a really young upstart thief, basically. Is that enough for me to join you? Mordrag has spoken up for you. But you're not ready yet. Do your tasks. Now, he doesn't really identify too many tasks for us to do in order to join, and it did say... One of the requirements for admission is to be level 5, which we are only level 3. That's pretty much the universal admission requirement for all the uh, camps. And uh, that's why it's a good idea to go through as many of the admission quests for all three camps as possible. Because then you'll definitely have enough... Uh, pardon me, damn. A high enough level to uh, be able to join any of them. What else can I do? Bali Cedro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again. 
to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve your dexterity and strength. Now, strength is all that matters I to me right now, so let's have at some of that. So, we're at 20, but with the, uh... Actually, no, we're at 25. I forgot. Uh, what's his name? Taught us. I thought we had a ring that improved our strength, but then I remembered that we actually learned it. So now we can use a crude sword, which is slightly improved over the withered axe. And uh, we do have to go around handing out these samples, so let's do that. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. Now, that's kind of funny, because we're supposed to hand these out as samples. But these guys are very cavalier about buying it from us, so we still make a profit, even though we weren't supposed to sell it. Just because these guys are inclined to pay us for it. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten or and Yeah, we heard you. So you have ten samples, and all you have to do is go around to uh, rogues or um, mercenaries, and only the unnamed ones will buy it from you. And uh, some of them won't, depending on what their script is. Shh. Hey, you. Who? Me? Exactly. Come over here. What? What do you want? You've just arrived, haven't you? I noticed it straight away. There are a lot of things you need to know. I can teach you a few things. Besides, you have to watch who you talk to. Butch, for example. That's the guy over there, next to the campfire. Be aware of him. What's the matter with Butch? He has the mean habit of beating up the new ones. So you better avoid meeting him. Now he says that, but Butch doesn't actually really do anything. What can you about to see? It depends. What do you want to know? So, he teaches the uh, thieving skills for the new camp. So he plays the role of fingers, basically. Want some weed? I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? Perhaps, perhaps. So, let's have, a, let's have a quick word with Butch and see what his dealio is. I realize I haven't saved in a while. That's a terrible idea. I, we haven't really been doing much dangerous work, but the game could crash at any moment. That's just kind of the way of things. So this is Butch. Now let's see if he makes a habit of beating us up. Hi, who are you? That's none of your business. I don't like your mug. So you see, Butch does nothing whatsoever. I think they meant to make more out of that, but they just never got around to it. Alright, so pardon me while I cook up some meats. Alright, buddy, you want some weed? Do you want some? I'll give you ten any time. The hell is this guy doing? He's like a, he's like a cat. He has to run in circles before he can sit down. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. He got some. I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. All right, let us hop up here. Some weed for you. You look like you. He goes. <laughs> Some weed for you. I have some sw Sure. Come. And who are you? You don't look very agile. I could help you. Well, that's rude. I can show you how to control your body. It's the art of acrobatics. Now, it's weird that that's all this guy does and that's all he talks about. Buster, he's a much cooler guy in Gothic 2, in my opinion. Oh, we have more skill points than I remembered. I forgot we only spent four of them. Damn it. 
Here's some you wheat for like you. you do he goes. Can't remember how many we have to give out. I think we had ten. I we, sure like I can't remember where we got it, but we had ten already. So. Oh, maybe not. All right, so we only got one more to distribute. And that'll go to you. I didn't actually give any to the mercenaries, but fuck those sure. guys. Come by. And that's it. Alright, now this is important. If you want to join the swamp camp, this is one of the most important things that you can consider. Uh, he said that he could use his contacts in the swamp camp to help you join. I'm not going to do that because I don't intend to join the swamp camp, but I'm going to show you exactly how he can help you, so it will avoid some confusion later. I've shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? Tell me to join the Brotherhood. Your request is modest. I'll help you, so listen to me. Baal Tion is one of the lower gurus just like myself. E. Baryon has made him one of his advisors. That has not done him any good. He now thinks he's so important that he'll talk to nobody but his disciples. If you give him this here, it'll loosen his tongue. So that's important. This uh, thing he gave us is the prepared dream call for the Guru Bal Tion. Actually, you know what? The value of this on its own is actually as much as the Ori would have given us, so it doesn't really matter. We can sell that to anybody and get the same reward. But you can, al can also smoke it yourself, and I don't really remember what happens, but basically, uh, you give this to Bal Tion, who otherwise you cannot interact with in any way. And when you do that, he will, uh, Bal Tion will also help you join the Brotherhood. So that's important, because there are a number of admission requirements to complete in order to join the swamp camp and you have to do all but one of them I think and uh, you can choose which one you don't do this is the one of one one of the ones you can choose not to do you can choose to take a reward from him instead and then just do all the other ones and there's another one where you can choose to uh, sell a bunch of items instead of giving them to one of the gurus and uh, you make a bigger profit from that one, I think, so... You can choose one of those two not to do, I think, but... You'll get more experience for uh, doing all of them, and it's still safer to do it that way. I can't really say for sure that it's safe to uh, do the second one that I mentioned, but we'll, uh, we'll look into that later. Anyway, since I don't really care to join the camp, let's just see what this does. Well, so far, not much. Oh, nighty night. Alright, so I guess it's a little too potent for my blood. Fortunately, we can't really do anything to get him up again. And we can't close the uh, inventory either. Oh, yes, we can. Morning, sunshine. Alright. Who are you? How are things? Get lost! Hey, fuck you. What an asshole. Hey, a new face. Yup. Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the magicians? Lee has made a deal with the magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here, and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. 
Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really. But he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. Oh, uh, yeah? What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. Fair enough. Now, I just want to make it clear right now. If you join the swamp camp, you will have no opportunity to join the mercenaries at all. But if you join the old camp, you will actually have the opportunity in the later chapters to join the mercenaries. And that's a bit of a spoiler, but I'm not going to tell you exactly why that happens. So, uh, if you are inclined to join the new camp, but just don't want to do it right now, you can uh, you can do it that way. There's not really much difference between the new camp and the old camp in the end, really. So, it's not a big deal. Alright, I don't think we'll be able to beat up Shrike. I think we're not strong enough. Oh, maybe not. Oh shit, he beat the snot out of us. Oops, that was the wrong one. Now it's interesting how the NPCs tend to have... Like, the ones that are better at fighting... Tend to have a lot more... Combos. If you... If you get what I mean. Like, he did... He got three consecutive hits there and I couldn't block them all. But... Um... Ones who are a bit less talented at sword fighting than him... Would have fewer combos that they can do in... Uh, you know, the span of a second. God damn it. Boring fucking fight. hell. Like, fucking buttons don't work. Now, struggling the way I am, you might be tempted to try and actually use a bow to fight this guy, but I don't think that's a good idea. Because if you do that, the, um, the other mercenaries will see that as you try, and may see that as you trying to kill the guy, rather than beat him up, so... They might actually get involved. You definitely don't want the final blow to be with the bow. No, I guess I don't really care. But it probably didn't help me at all, because he ran inside. So I couldn't keep shooting at him. Oh, wow, what's he doing up there? Damn it, man! Do that again. Fuck. I'm telling you, so it's three hits, because a third hit will probably get between my parry. Now this is a case the um let me just demonstrate. You'll notice I do hit see when I do the left to right swings, I sometimes have some trouble getting my block up afterwards. It seems like if you do the Damn it. What the hell are you doing? Seems like if you do the why don't I keep doing that? Seems like if you do the forward swing it's easier to get your block up afterwards, so... You might want to keep that in mind. It might make it easier to fight this guy. See? Not sure why he's not doing his combo. Yeah, that was nice. Fuck! Never do that again! Ah, damn it. It's so hard to time the block to make sure you can block all three. How did you do that? You son of a bitch. What are you doing? Whoa, I blocked all of them from behind. Damn it! God damn it! Timing is so hard. I'm gonna give this one more whack. Put the weapon away! Fuck you! I had that! 
It's the input that's a problem, I swear to Christ. Alright, if you're gonna keep strafing, I'm just gonna keep whacking you. Yes, got him! Alright, so it seems like trying to wait for him to do the full three combo is a terrible idea. Instead, you should try to hit him after his second attack. Because you can pull it off a little bit faster than he can, so... Keep that in mind. Now make sure, absolutely sure, that you do not try to hit him while he's down. Because you're just going to kill him you and then everyone's going to gonna kill you. Oh yeah? You looking for trouble with me again? No. Get lost. I like how he says that, but he talk to you later. Tries to act so intimidating, but his bottom lip is quivering. You looking for trouble with me again? See, look at that. He's terrified of us. What a stupid sucker. Hey, right, so you. What? This is my hut. I don't belong to you anymore. Well, there was a time when things would have gone very different. Shrike has moved to another hut. Good. Torloff just told me that he wanted to have a word with the guy. Okay. See you later. Righty, righty, righty. Right, so Shrike's mo buggering off somewhere. I'm not really sure where he's going. But it matters not, for the hut is ours. Alright, so let's see who else we can speak with here. I wouldn't say in terms of overall size that the old camp, or the new camp is quite as big as the old camp. But there are just about as many important NPCs here. Or at least ones you can talk to. And Torloff is one of them. Who are you? I'm Torloff. I was involved in a mutiny as mate of a royal warship. It wasn't such a good idea. The greater part of the crew was on the captain's side. That's how I came to be here. Cool story, bruh. I'd like to join you. Lee won't take you on until you get real good. I'm telling you now. And until then, you better stay on good terms with Laris and his crowd. You want some advice, boy? Steal something important from the old camp. Or the old mine. As soon as the boys notice that you're against Gomez, you won't have any more trouble here. And how do I do that? You need to win their trust, and then you can rip them off. Now, what he says there is very helpful indeed. Now, if you were clever enough, you guys might remember what Diego said about the list from the old mine. And how it must not fall into the new camp's hands. What Torloff just said there kind of doubly emphasizes how you might be able to use that to your advantage to join the new camp. Of course, we will uh, see what comes of that later. We're gonna get a bow here. You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. Oh, uh, yeah? Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. Okay. I'd like to learn how to handle a bow. I can teach you. But I can't do it as a favor. After all, I have to eat as well. How much? Anything I teach you will cost you 50 ore. I don't haggle. Fine, fine, but I don't care. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. Well, that is a shame, then. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. Now, I think he meant on the way to the old camp when he said the new camp. Because obviously we're already in the new camp, and there are many ways to get here from any other part of the colony. But if you come here directly from the old camp, you will, of course, run into Aiden, as we did. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it. And he is the only weapon seller here, but he doesn't actually have any real weapons. So I'm not really sure what his deal is. You'll notice that the new camp, for whatever reason, doesn't actually have a smith of any kind. And he does not even sell any bows that are even as good as what... I'm not sure why the bows are flickering. But he doesn't sell any bows that are even as good as... Ooh. 
as good as um, Cavalorans. Right, let's take that. I'm going to actually sell him this sword as well. So I'm going to use this. Do you Alright, you can have that. I'll keep the rider's bow, probably won't matter. You know what? I'm not gonna keep it. What's the point? I already said I'm not gonna use bows for really any reason. Alright, there you go, buddy. So yeah, there's nowhere to really get weapons here for some reason, and I'm well, Wolf is supposed to sell them. But I don't think I'll actually carry any decent ones until later chapters. You seem to be very, uh... A very priestly. Greetings, magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I can help you to increase your magic powers or give you some useful items. And what can I do for you? That is the first time a god is mentioned by name in this game. Adonis is the patron of the water mages. And we'll learn more about how he, uh... About how Adonis what his role is in the sort of trinity or the uh, tribunal or whatever you want to call it of the gods I have a letter for the high magician of the circle of fire we are the magicians of the circle of water the whoa magicians of whoa the stop that please no more old cap. but i can't get into the castle could you help me well occasionally we send oh my god what is going on brothers in the old camp but we only entrust these messages to lara's men He's been seeing to it for many years now that our messengers arrive safely. Good lord, that is horrifying. Can I talk to you from a different angle? Do hopefully avoid that. You want to destroy the barrier. How exactly do you plan to do that? We need major amounts of magic ore. We'll release the entire magic power and a great magic rite to blow up the barrier. Of course, such a big amount of ore attracts a lot of rogues and crooks. That's why we need a man to defend our plan. I'd like to join you. If you want to join us, you should see Lee or Laris. I'd like to become a magician. We cannot afford to spread our knowledge among our enemies. We will not even consider Why is that happening? You unless you prove your loyalty to us. God, that's annoying. All right, so Kronos is not too helpful, but he does trade uh, in some magical items. He has some runes here, which we cannot use until we learn some of these circles of magic. But spell scrolls can be used no matter what. The thing is, they can only be used once. And some of them do actually have a minimum... Uh, mana requirement. So, until you get more mana, some of these cannot be used. But other ones are fairly cheap and uh, pretty decent. And he also sells these magic artifacts, which can be quite useful. Strength bonus, health bonus, dexterity bonus, mana bonus. I'm not going to buy any of them until I consider a bit more. I don't think we've uh, gotten any extra dexterity. We're still at 10, which means... Oh, wait, I forgot I already sold the bow. Keep forgetting. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the rings right now. Not really worth my ore. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm not really sure what the deal is with the texture flickering. I'm pretty sure it's just a power... Uh, power? A uh, problem with AMD graphics cards. So, when I build my PC, which I can't really say for sure if and when that's going to happen. I'm going to ignore... I'm, go I'm not going to get an AMD graphics card. They've caused me too many problems over the years. It just seemed to really struggle... Like, the new ones seem to struggle with older games a lot more than I've seen anyone else really have a problem with. So, I think NVIDIA might be the way to go, but if you guys have suggestions, I'll, uh, I'll listen to it. Do you know where you're heading? Where? You're heading straight for Lee, our leader. Oh, yeah? What do I need to do to make you let me see Lee? Nothing. This isn't the old camp, and Lee isn't Gomez. He doesn't need an army of henchmen to hide behind. 
He can defend himself. We are only here in case he needs us. Oh, yeah? Well, you make him seem very intimidating. Is it me or are they kind of affectionately close? You're the boss of the mercenaries, aren't you? That's right, boy. Which task do the mages' mercenaries have? Very simple. Protect the ore, protect the mages. Sometimes the mages have a special task for one of us. I'd like to join you. You have a nerve. Do you honestly think I'll just take anybody who walks in here? You can only become one of us after you've spent a certain time in the camp. I'll observe you. All right, fair enough. He's not a very off-putting fellow. He's a bit of a jerk. All right. Apart from these fellows up here, I think we've talked to everybody here. Stop! Nobody may pass without the password. Okay, well, I don't seem to have one. So I'll be on my merry way. All right, we do have to tell Mordrag. Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm a dickhead. I totally forgot to uh, reload after I smoked the uh, thingamajig. So I've totally missed out on the reward for that because I'm an idiot. And I don't feel like reloading and fighting Lefty all or Shrike all over again, so fuck that. Alright. Lurker at the dam. We might actually be able to kill the Lurker now that we have a decent weapon. Loro's weapon. I don't think we have enough of any of those things. I know. Um, we have four apples. He wanted five. He wanted more loaves of bread. We've got two. Yeah. So we can't do that yet. What else? Mission to the new camp. Oh yeah, we can do that. So, we need to tell Mordrag about, uh... Damn it, not Cypher. No, Mordrag! Damn it. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Laris has a message for you. Tell me about it. He wants to know what's going on in the sect camp, and he wants you to find out. I get the feeling this problem will solve itself. Is that so? Well, that's up to you. So this is Ballas Sidro. We've already heard... That uh, he seems to be trading all his weed for rice schnapps instead of selling it and uh, returning the profits to his uh, swamp camp. We've also heard that he has a big stack of weed that Lariz wants us to sell. So let's have a word with him. You don't look very happy. I'm not. I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes. But I just can't be bothered. I could sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. I'll tell you something. You have a problem. Bal Kagan will make sure you'll be replaced. What? The sleeper have mercy on me. I need to get rid of this stuff. Here you go. Have another drink on me. Thanks, man. I'll drink to your health. Dog. Maybe. That wasn't very clever. I feel healthy already. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. Oh, man. I need to get rid of this stuff. You wouldn't try to make me look like a fool, would you? Wouldn't dream of it. I give you my word. Good. Here's this stuff. You should get at least 400 ore for it. That would be 200 for each of us. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you have the ore. Do you know who will take bigger amounts here? If I knew that, I would have gone myself. I feel much better now that I'm rid of this stuff. I don't know why you should, because if you return with only half 
the money that you were meant to have, I can't imagine that your uh, masters would be too happy about that. Now, Cypher does actually have a uh, somewhat of a connection with the weed trade, but for some reason we can't sell this stack to him. We cannot tempt him with it. What he's given us, in fact, are 20 Dream Calls, 20 Northern Darks, and 10 Green Novices. Now, if you wanted to, you can have one of each of those yourself. They do offer small bonuses. Nothing really major. One of them offers... Let's take a look really quick. One of them gives you... One of them gives you... Two of them give you a bit of experience. I can't remember what the other one does. Green Novice has five experience. Northern Dark is 10 experience. Maybe they all give you experience. And Dream Call is plus two mana. Cool. I tell you what, it doesn't really matter. We can sell the stack to somebody. I don't think Sharky has any money. Sell the stack to Kronos if he has any ore. Speaking of ore, this is the ore mound. You can get a glimpse of it through the uh, grate here. It is fairly large. Oh lord, I'm not sure what's up with the camera on this thing. Doesn't really look big enough to make much of a difference. You would think after all that digging they've done, they would have a bit more than that. I want to. All right, another thing I didn't mention. I need more magic power. I can help you to increase your power. Use it wisely. Uh, even if you're not a mage, uh, Kronos will help you increase your magic power. Alright, never mind. He does not have any ore to trade with. Do believe... Um... Wolf still has some. You know, Do you trade? there is a... There is someone who tells you that Cypher will take orders of... Uh, who will take, like, shipments of Swampweed. It's possible that if you, um... If you talk to that person first, you might also be able to get to convince him to buy this stack. But I really don't know for sure. As I said, I don't think Sharky has any money, but we'll talk to him anyway. Yeah, we took all his money. Oh, he's the one who has the weapons. Never mind. Because Wolf, Wolf says in Gothic 2 that he was in charge of the weapons here. But apart from bows, I don't think he ever actually carries any. Unfortunately, there's no other merchants here. So, whatever. We can give the ore to... I think we can give the ore to Bala Sidro. We can give the 200 to him. And then just sell the rest of it at a later date. Or... We can give 400 to Laris. And again, sell the rest whenever we feel like it. What? I think I remember something, because he does notice he is a traitor. Show me what you hear. If I th he doesn't actually have anything, but I think if you sell... If you give him the 200 ore, you can sell the stuff right back to him. But in the end, all you're really doing is giving up the weed, so it's not worth it. Alright, well... We'll... we'll talk to Larry's in a minute. I want to see if I can actually take on... this lurker. What are you doing, man? I wasn't even moving, and he was moving. Now this little hut over here is actually where all the... peasants who work in the uh, rice fields... sleep. Not exactly the, uh, most elegant of, uh, accommodations, but... Right, so right there is a damn lurker. As I've said, lurkers are pretty tough beasties. Let's see if we can, uh, even fight the damn thing. Hey, you. 
Oh, no, I can't even hurt it. Wow, okay. This is tragically unfortunate. Run! Wakao! Alright, so much for that then. We'll deal with that thing at a another time. Alright, well, I haven't sold the weed, but I'll give you the money anyway. I have the 400 ore. Good. Very good. I believe that should be sufficient now. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't reward you, but that does work towards your admission requirements. Alright, so before. Uh. Before we do anything else here, we are going to. Weed merchant. Yeah, right. We we can still actually give 200 or We can complete both quests. It's just that money's going to come out of our own pocket at that point. So, uh, we are going to go to the swamp camp next, I think. Because there's nothing more we can really do here. At the moment. So, but that will happen in the next episode, my friends. So, for today, I bid you adieu. Thank you for watching.